We're waiting to find out the fate of Spain's lenders. The country's central bank could announce shortly whether it accepts the reform plans of the Spanish Cajas. The regional banks need to raise more than 15 billion euros in cash or face the prospect of being nationalised. Well, for more on this, I can speak now to the CFO of Bank Inter, the Spanish lender. Today said that first quarter profit fell 26%. Gloria Ortiz joins us now live on the phone from Madrid. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, now you came out with, uh, with those profits today uh, and you've got about two thirds of your loan book in mortgages. Your level of bad debt is also rising. Where do you see this going? How long will it be before those bad loans reach a peak? Well, I think the, um, the uh, non-performing loan, loans uh, are probably going to reach the peak somewhere in the second or third quarter. Already, I mean, when we look at, um, at uh, problematic assets in, in, in Spanish institutions, we have to take into account not only non-performing loans, but also foreclosed assets and substandard uh, risks. When you look at that into, into just one figure, uh, we have actually uh, decreased uh, the problematic assets by 1.8% in the quarter so this means that probably the worst in MP information is is over and that next quarter is being stabilized uh, in in, uh, in Spain uh, the MP the, the peak shouldn't be uh, far away at least for Bank Inter. Now what do you anticipate the central bank is going to say about the Cajas and the plans for them to be recapitalized? Well, um, um, I, I don't exactly know what they're going to say, but I'm sure that uh, there will be allocation of prop capital, at least for some of the cajas that were the weakest uh, in, uh, in the recent uh, royal, I mean, with the compliance of the royal decree, and we also have uh, had news about some of the, uh, some of the mergers that failing, particularly CAM, CAM, um, the, the, uh, the CAM uh, merger. So I'm sure that some, some of these groups will probably be injected for up capital. We don't know in what terms and what amounts, but we'll, we will find out soon. And have you at Interbank got to any plans to buy any of those cajas? Uh, well, Bank Inter is, uh, has always been traditionally an organic grower. We are very much, uh, we think, and we, uh, that we can still grow organically, particularly uh, with uh, the turmoil in the cajas. Uh, we, have, uh, we have been capturing market share from them, particularly in the deposits. Uh, this will be something that will go on uh, not only in the deposit side, but also the asset side in the next quarters. Okay, and, Gloria. Uh, Gloria Ortiz, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye.